Hi, everybody. Um, welcome to my talk, Upgrading from CF Release to CF Deployment, the other way. Um, my name is Yannick. I'm from Ivola. Um, and so which one of you is still running CF Release? Qu quick hands up. Two guys. So somebody knows anyone who's still running CF Release? OK. So the talk is still relevant. OK. Um, some quick disclaimers. Um, this talk comes from a um, project we did in the beginning of the year. Um, back then, the transition repo was not as good as it, as it is now. So we came up with our own way to um, upgrade from CF release to CF deployment. Um, um, the second uh, disclaimer is every deployment is a bit different, so you might need to adapt some of the points. Um, I will talk now about, about um, and all the guys who still raise their hands, now it's the time. So it's CF releases deprecated since February, so slowly you should come to a point where you upgrade. Um, okay, let's get started. Um, our environment. At this customer was a um, vanilla CF on OpenStack. Um, we had a staging foundation only for our testing purposes and two pro uh, production foundations. Um, they ran at the time CF release with the RP version uh, 280. Mm, and they had configured an external blob store, so non-internal, which is a bit necessary for how we did this. You may also do it, uh, can do it with an internal blob store, but on this talk, I will have the recommend, uh, I have the um, uh, requirement that you have an external blob store. So um, the customer had some requirements um, during the update. There must be a zero downtime for all apps. So the apps, uh, the customer should not need, uh, need to intervene in any case. Um, so. No, no CF scale, CF um, push the apps. Um, they don't uh, should have to, to switch their um, services. They also want to transition to Cred Hub, um, which they didn't have, have at the time. And um, they wanted a possibility to roll back the upgrade if the um, upgrade fails. During the time, the CF deployment transition repo was not that good, as I said. Um, so it wouldn't cut all the, uh, wouldn't check all the requirements for us. Um, so we developed another process. Um, we wanted to, to keep the blob store, so we, which is in uh, dependency, so we can switch back and forth between our two deployments. Um, we might create the databases and deploy a new CF uh, foundation from scratch. Um, first, we have to do some, some preparations. We upgraded the Bosch director, which was also outdated, um, deployed a CRED hub, created a, a new networks for the new CF deployment, um, and also adapted the security groups. Um, then we had to extract some... Um, properties from the old deployment, like the decryption cipher and the BBS key. Um, and we also start on CRED Hub, because now we have CRED Hub and everything is secure. <coughs> um, yeah. So we started with uh, this. This is a schema of the CF deployment. Um, and at first, we wanted to disable the Cloud Controller API, so we have a uh, change freeze, so nobody can push a new app or scale the apps. Um, mainly, we wanted to um, uh, um, um, uh, prevent prevent uh, any changing in the blob store because if the blob store IDs change um, and we have a uh, database backup with an old IDs, then the uh, container won't come up on in the new deployment. Um, so we have m many uh, possibilities to disable this access. We can kill um, any load balancer or DNS. Uh, 
we can disable the cloud controller itself. Um, we can also ask our devs not to push any apps during the time. What we did, we um, disabled the load balancer for the uh, system root, so nobody could uh, talk to the API. Um, next, we made our backups um, for the database, and we also did it for the blob store in case anything goes wrong. We can always uh, um, restore our blob store. So then we had to deploy a new database. Um, the customer provided um, a managed database uh, which we could use, but uh, you, maybe, you maybe could also um, deploy um, the internal database. So you would uh, at first deploy only the database and scale all, uh, all other um, components down. So. Excuse me? No? Oh. Currently not. Um, so we, we de would deploy, deploy a new database. Um, we, uh, as I said, you maybe also could um, deploy an internal database if you scale up down all, our, all other components during the first deployment. Um, restore your backup, and after that, deploy the rest of the um, CF deployment which uh, was the next step. So um, we deployed the new CF deployment, and uh, enabled um, the RP access to this deployment, so we could check and monitor um, the containers on, uh, on, on uh, CF. Um, so now we have a, a running second six system, and uh, we used, for example, um, CF top to, man to check if all our containers came up back again, and uh, could could diff between um, the old CF release and the new CF deployment. Um, check our monitoring in Prometheus, and uh, if everything came back up, we could switch over. So. Now we would disable the, all the um, app domains on the all CF release and enable them on uh, our CF deployment. Um, and now we basically did a transition from CF release to CF deployment. At any time, if, if we now um, acknowledge, um, recognize something is wrong, we can always switch back to CF release because except of the um, Load balancers, we did nothing, we, we changed nothing with our old release. Um, so we have the rollback functionality. Um, some up and downside of this method. For once, it, it's very easy. You, you can make mistakes um, and don't have to fear yet this, that your production goes down. It's easily testable in production. So what we did many times, um, we tried to with a different domain. So we spun up a new CF de uh, deployment and checked if all the containers came up uh, again and could repeat this process until it got uh, perfect. Um, it's a zero downtime upgrade, and we always have the functionality to roll back. Um, on the downside, it's very resource heavy. Um, because you have to deploy a second foundation for the platform you already have running. Um, it's not an officially supported way. And as I said at the beginning, you might have to make uh, changes for each cloud. So that's all my slides. Do you have any uh, questions? Or, yeah. So the, the question was, just because I have to repeat it, yeah. um, if you had to do it again, would you, would you do it the supported way or, or this way? Um, it, it depends on the uh, platform. If you have the resources, um, as I said, it was very, uh, uh, very, very, very pleasing process because we could test the production upgrade 
um, without any fear of breaking anything. Um, so I would prefer this way, but as I recognized when I um, prepared this, this talk, um, the transition repo got better. Um, in fact, got very good. So I think both uh, both ways are okay. So, but I, I would prefer this way again. Yeah. Hi. Uh, we are in a similar situation, but I saw on your screenshot there are 84 applications in this cluster. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. We have a cluster with 90,000 applications. It's a bit bigger. So, um, how did you? What kind of um, things did you run into that you didn't expect on beforehand? Um, okay, um, the screenshot was from some of our uh, test uh, test platforms. It's what not the actu actually um, cloud from the customer. Um, something that that we didn't run into, which we did not think of first was once uh, for once the, the blob star IDs. So even if we, ha uh, the first time we didn't uh, disable the, the, the RP ac uh, access, though some developer or some uh, um, pipeline found a way to update the app and um, we had apps that didn't come up after the um, upgrade. S um, we also had some trouble with um, changing the uh, domain names, but it was a dependency of the customer. They lost some of the uh, secrets for their um, certificates. But other than that, we did not have any bigger or major issues. Uh, maybe one addition to that. Um, the, the cool thing was they could retry and retry um, the the um, the upgrade because um, they made always a new copy of it so they could look is the copy okay if I, I I'm, are we fond with the with the process or do we try to repeat that in, uh, with another uh, uh, solution any other questions okay thanks <laughs> <laughs>